Back with Bobby and JJ Radio, we're uh, speaking with Amy Clifton, the team leader of Keller Williams Realty IH10 Market Center, which is deliberately called City View off Hebner and I-10. It's located at 10999 IH10 West. You can contact Wendy and her team to set Amy. up an appointment. I'm sorry, Amy. I call you Wendy and Amy. I know you do. It's like, it's like Bobby and JJ. We well, Wendy same. and Amy are sisters, yeah. basically. Essentially, Pretty we much. are. <laughs> but you can get a hold of Amy uh, or Lori, which yes. is the other team leader, at uh, 210-696-9996. That is their office number. You can sit down with her, and she can uh, help you talk about your real estate path. But let's talk about Keller Williams in general. Amy, why is it different than other real estate brokerages? In your opinion. Well, you know what? We started out 31 years ago um, as a company that wanted to do it to, to be about the agent. And, sure. um, and and so we were kind of the, the in between, you know, the truly independent companies that agents just did their own thing or the ones that were really, you know, kind of very traditional and, right. and very structured. And so I, I think that's part of it is the core and the base of everything that we are is about the agent. Sure. Um, you know, we're, we're a God family business company. We're here to support um, what's most important in everybody's lives. Sure. That we're in touch with, and I think that's part of you know the culture of who we are, and and right. we want you know what we want um, our agents to be able to you know build careers worth having, and um, you know have businesses worth owning and lives worth living, and that's you know that's the mission of who we and, are. And just to, to touch on that a little bit before, I don't think people realize in the seventies and eighties it was all a gold jacket yes, uh, company, it was. Right? absolutely that dominated the market. Mm-hmm. Um, They've um, been dying out little by little. Well, because their concept it was probably the best at the time. Where Absolutely. It was on the name of the broker. and I mean, my dad worked for Ascension One. And so, you know, you would go out and hustle and get listings. And then the broker's information and, and sign would be in front of the house. Right. And they would have all the leads and all the control. It wasn't an open book company. I remember uh, my dad had a real big problem with that. So you didn't know who was making what. And so that's a big problem when you're working with the brokerage. because. Absolutely. It's very when you're not transparent of you know where the leads are going to and who's making the money, then there's always this distrust. Absolutely. Right? And you don't know exactly what's happening. And then they were kind of outdated, and then Remax mm-hmm. took them out. Their right. their concept's a little bit more uh, independent. Independent agents, kind of like Keller Williams, but the fact they kind of like charge you rent, mm-hmm. right, per month. It doesn't matter if you do one transaction or fifty. It's it's a monthly rate. But they didn't really, in my opinion, have the support systems that Kel right. did. And then we came and blew them out of the water. Right. Right. It took us a little, nice. bit, it took a little us a while. Few years. <laughs> but we did. We finally became number one in the U.S. and North America. I yes. Believe. We is are. That, right? North that is right. North America. So Bobby's from South America. Jeez. He doesn't know that much. Got I got you. <laughs> I was going there. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, Amy, I was going to ask you, why do you think it's so important uh, to be under a big name like, like Keller Williams? You know, I think it's all the tools and the resources and the support that you can get. You know, you... We've talked a little bit about small boutiques, and they're fantastic, and 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 they've got really great capacity um, to be able to help agents. But um, they're also doing business themselves too. And so when you come into an envir- environment like Keller Williams, uh, we're the staff are all licensed, but we're here to support you. We're not in competition with you. That's different um, than other companies. It is. Too, yeah. It's very very different. And and I think a lot of it too is to, you know. You want to be able to get the leverage of being able to be big. You sure. know, um, we we have a lot of tools. We have yeah. we have a, our own website, kdbsanantonio dot com. You know, a, a database management, transaction management, marketing system. All that stuff is built for a fraction of the cost that you could do it as an Absolutely. individual agent on your own. Yeah, so. and and beyond that, as a new marketing agent, marketing and all that. The marketing, mm-hmm. yeah. You got the magazine. You got the the websites and all the technology that you know most other boutiques can't afford because they're by themselves right absolutely but beyond that if you're a new agent i almost feel like you you don't have anything behind you you right. know because you just started out and and then to to market to people and say hey i want to help you make the biggest investment of your life it's hard right it is absolutely they have to build trust pretty quickly right but to trust a franchise like kill Worms, like we used to market kill Worms to the team i mean now we it's mainly trade group because know, we're big enough on our own group. yeah <laughs> but we do you know but to have the backing of a huge you know, very prestigious and well-known company like Keller Williams with a good name. Absolutely. Uh, and it's it's easier for you when you start out. And furthermore, we have a bulk of the listings in San Antonio. We do, absolutely. So as a new agent, yeah, you can drive around and yeah, see Keller Williams. It's, it's a sea everywhere. of red, right? We always. I met this guy earlier today at a chamber of commerce meeting, and he worked for Phil's Brown. I said, "Hey, when you want to come to the dark side, because it's like we're the evil empire that is just <laughs> completely just changing neighborhoods into red signs." And and I was trying to tell him, I was like, "Look, man." If you're going to do open houses, you are as good as the inventory of your broker, and we have the most inventory, so why not come with the most opportunity? Right? Absolutely. So if anything else, as a new agent, I have no idea why no one uh, joins uh, Kelwoms, at least in the beginning. Well, yeah, and I really think our 
training is probably the best oh, in the industry. By far. The free training. I, I think too. that's yeah. the reason why and it's free. you know yeah. anyone's going to make it. It's that training, that initial training when you're coming in. Me and Jay did a little history. We both started Keller Williams. I remember I interviewed with you 10 years ago, maybe yes, a little longer. Yes, you did. And uh, we, we both did the startup training. We both went to a uh, accountability coach, and then we went to a second, second year coach. Mm -hmm. But we both started there. We never left, and we would never leave. No. We drank the Kool-Aid. It was red, and it's been red since. Yeah. <laughs> you can't leave. So <laughs> I, I was going to ask you, Amy. Um, <laughs> I kind of know the answer to this because I went through it, but do you have to have your real estate license in place to come to Keller Williams? No, you don't. Um, yeah, we want you to be able to start kind of working on your on your license and getting your um, tests and all that kind of stuff taken in classes. But um, we want you to come talk to us as soon as you're as soon as you're really considering that this is a career change. That so you you're considering do. Keller Williams? Come talk to Amy. Absolutely. Um, we're com considering real estate. Come talk to Amy. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Absolutely. so you get your license, you know, a month or two down the line, but you can come and meet with the company, make sure you like the office, make sure it's a good fit, and uh, whenever your license does come in, it could be activated with the office. Yeah, very quickly, and, and we're actually, we do this monthly, but we've got a new career, new you um, event coming up January 28th um, from 6 to 8 p.m. where you can come and find out about real estate, what a career in real estate looks like, um, be able to ask a bunch of questions, find out a little bit about Keller Williams as well, too, and, and kind of the process of getting into it. Sure. So if you're just tuning in, you're listening to Bobby and JJ Radio. Uh, we're sitting with Amy Clifton, uh, team leader for Keller Williams at I-10. And uh, if you can tell us the process of becoming a real estate agent, what does somebody have to go through? Absolutely. You know what? You start with really um, trying to find where, where your best fit is to take classes. You need to take classes. You need to pass the test, national and state, to be able to do that. Interestingly, though, that you can do classes online. You can do classes through, um, like, a Champions Real Estate School or Sabor, the board. Um, and, and then forget everything you learned. Yeah, that's <laughs> true. Swipe it from your memory. <laughs> Fifteen years later. Um, yeah, and, and really, um, then that just really gets the ball rolling. That, you know, it's kind of like graduating from undergraduate you know and yeah. really then the rest of it is all of our training and support that sure. we're going to do after that i think a lot of uh, people that are trying to get into the industry they think i'm going to go to champion school real estate mm -hmm. or whatever they can take these really interesting classes which i did mm -hmm. and they do teach you a lot but it doesn't prepare you, you prepare you for what it is because it's teaching you the legalities and the and, and the concept of real estate but not uh, the business development side of or, or opening a new business and that's where you guys kind of come in absolutely with uh, incredible training which most if i think in the beginning, it's all free, and then you know, you kind of graduate, and then if you want, because you guys have higher learning. Absolutely, that's a nice thing about Keller Williams is there's it stuff continues. for brand new agents, there's stuff for those that are growing their business, and then there's stuff for like you guys that have a team and you're trying to grow that and in what that looks like. So yeah, there's you guys have training of people that have multiple franchises all over the United States. Absolutely. Yeah, so mm -hmm. it's it's every level. It's the first year to the hundredth year. You have mm -hmm. every single level of training. So let's talk about the culture, because that's what we're known about with Keller Williams Realty. Uh, Red Day is always on my birthday. Let's talk about Red Day. Uh, it's always around my birthday, May, May -ish, middle of May. And when did that start? What is it about? And what do we do every year? Um, it's May 14th this year, and it my started uh, your birthday. Yes, uh, it started in 2009, and really it was um, kind of a way to for us um, as a company as a whole to be able to give back to our communities who give us so much. So um, every every second. Thursday in May uh, mm -hmm. of the year, every Keller Williams agents, agency and um, company around the company um, around the country goes out and, and does something philanthropic uh, and helps out um, the community. And we've been able to give back to Haven for Hope and St. Right. PJ's Ch Children's Center and Gervin um, Academy and Boysville and We've we've uh, countless yeah, countless we, we did things. The boys we did the Boysville one. Food bank. We did a Food house bank. one. Mm -hmm. We went to a lady's house and, and it helped really build it. Yeah, she she couldn't even. Meals on Wheels, a senior Christian services. Center. Yeah, we did that. Mm -hmm. and remember we redid her siding and everything. Her house was pretty much dilapidated, and we got it to like a living condition. Poor lady couldn't even she couldn't even even move around. And I I, I remember feeling excellent about it. And Absolutely, I, and I, I can't wait to do it every year. It's a little annoying. It's on my birthday, but, you know, it's a and good And it's way. always raining. It's always raining. It is. At least for the last few years, it's been torrential yeah. downpour. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, we have to but stop. But okay. To, you know, take a rain break, go meet up somewhere, and then go back and finish the job. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's always raining. It has been raining all the time. And we also are going to come back and talk a little bit about the golf tournament that's coming up in a couple yeah, months here. Yeah, March 23rd. Uh, and some other activities and some of the culture of Keller Williams and why you should join us if you're already in real estate or at least talk to us before you start real estate. Uh, we're going to take a quick break to talk to our show partners. Um, we'll be right back with Amy Clifton with Kel Williams Realty. Do not move an inch. Do not touch your dial. This is Bobby and JJ Radio.